Hi, Pinkie Pie. Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, and I are ready for the school dance. What do you think of our outfits? Your outfits are fantastic, but you guys need your hair done. Our hair? Do you think we have time for that? Of course, I'm Pinkie Pie. I can get all of your hair done in no time. Just hop in the chair. All right, my beautiful ladies, let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today I have Rainbow Dash, Twilight Sparkle, and Fluttershy here, and they are going to a party. So what we're gonna do is dress up their hair. We're gonna give their hair a water marbling effect. So you might have seen some of these videos on YouTube where people use water marbling for their nails, but instead of doing it on nails, we're gonna be doing this on their hair. So I've actually never done water marbling before, so I hope it turns out good. All right, let's get started. All right, so I removed everyone's heads from their bodies. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add a liquid latex over their faces. And this is because I don't want any of the nail polish to get onto their face. So this is really cool. It's a liquid form and you just paint over their face. And once it's dried, it actually is clear and you can just peel it off when you're done. So we're going to do this to all their faces. After that's done, I'm going to use this white nail polish and paint over their hair. And this will help the marbling effect show up better. So as you can see here with Fluttershy, the latex actually dries clear. And once we're done, we can just peel it off. So now I'm going to add a layer of white nail polish to the hair to cover up your hair color. I'm going to do this with all three heads. Alright, so Fluttershy is ready. I gave her a coat of white nail polish on her hair. And of course her face has that latex on it so that it protects her face from the nail polish. And I'm also wearing my gloves. <laughs> So I have a pot of water here and this is a larger cup than people use for nails just so that I can fit the entire head in. So you can see here, actually it's a little bit bigger than the head so we can dip it in. And I'm going to be using a number of nail polish. So I have these four colors. I think they're called Birthday Suit, Forget Me Not, Investigate Her, and Underwear. <laughs> These look like really fun colors. Alright, so let's get started. So we're going to have to do this really fast because we have a large cup of water. The nail polish will actually dry out uh, quicker. So I have a design I like, and we're going to start dipping her in. Okay, when she's in there, we're going to clear out the top layer. We're going to move this top layer over so that she gets her underside painted. Move the thick clumps away. Come back up. So, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. They see a little bit of green, the pinks, the whites, and also here we have it on the underside. So this is super, super pretty. So we just had to wait for this to dry. And we'll clear out the water for the next one. 
All right, so next we have Twilight Sparkle. So Twilight Sparkle, I actually use acrylic paint because I was running out of my white nail polish, so she's not as glossy as Fluttershy. And on top of it, I added a layer of glossy Mod Podge. So this way, it kind of has that same glossy effect as the nail polish. So for Twilight Sparkle, we're going to be using these four colors. So this one is Bright Snow Grooms, just stitches. Um, the girls are out and I think this one's just called Mason. <laughs> All right. in and go around to another side of the pattern. See here, the back side didn't get a whole lot, so I'm going to try to fix that. Okay, so this one is not sticking as much, but I think I'm going to leave it as is. All right, and last of all, we have Rainbow Dash. So Rainbow Dash is also wearing acrylic paint with Mod Podge. And we're gonna go for some wild and crazy colors. <laughs> I have some of a purple color, and OPI Vodka and Caviar, uh, San Sally Hansen uh, Breezy Blue, and a Formula X uh, Silver color. There's a spot here that is missing a lot of paint, so what I'm going to do is try to make a custom area that I can dip. So we have Fluttershy here and she is pretty dry. What I'm going to do is put a layer of glitter on top just to make her super sparkly and pretty. 
right? So Fluttershy is dry, and now we're ready to take off her uh, layer of latex. <laughs> she actually looks pretty cool this way, huh? With the paint with these uh, swirls over her face. So what I'm gonna do is run my X-Acto knife, actually it's still a little bit wet here, um, along the edges to make sure that we don't take off the paint when we take off the latex. So we're gonna have to do this very carefully. Let's start with the neck down here. See that peel down here? from the hair. Oh my gosh, you guys see this? This is really cool. So, these are tweezers, clean it up a little bit. So I do like this on the ears. You know what, I'm gonna keep the ears because I really like the design on the ears. Look at that. Right, next we have Twilight Sparkle. I'm going to take off the latex on her face. Alright, now is Rainbow Dash's turn. I'm going to start at the neck. I'm all done. Are you guys ready to see the results? Let's do it before and after. Alright everyone, so what do you guys think of this water marbling effect on your hair? I think it looks really, really cool. So let me show you the back of these. Take a look at that. Oh my gosh. It looks so, so cool. <laughs> so my favorite is Fluttershy. I think hers came out the best. I really love the green um, streaks in there mixed in with the light and dark pink. I think Rainbow Dash has turned out pretty good too. She has these large uh, swabs of uh, pink going across the blue. And looks really cool, especially this part in the front. Twilight Sparkles is a little bit unique. I think she got a little bit too much paint, but um, it did darken her hair a lot. So in the front up here and also on the upper part of the back of her head is uh, very pink with um, kind of dark streaks of purple in there. But then down here she has the kind of spots of white also here in the back too. So I think that gave it a very nice effect. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this water marbling effect on their hair. And of course, if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!